Welcome to our exploration of the Greek pantheon. We'll uncover how these divine figures mirror human nature and society, shaping ancient Greek culture and influencing our world today. Let's begin by examining how the Greek gods reflect human qualities and societal structures. Greek gods mirror human nature in profound ways. On Mount Olympus, they form a celestial society reflecting ancient Greek city-states with complex hierarchies and interpersonal dynamics. Zeus, the supreme ruler, embodies authority with all its strengths and flaws, much like mortal leaders. These anthropomorphic deities possess human emotions and failings, making them relatable to ancient Greeks and modern readers alike. Their myths not only explain natural phenomena, but also reinforce cultural values, serving as a multifaceted framework for understanding the world and society. This human-like pantheon set the stage for a rich cosmogony that explained the very origins of existence. To understand the Olympian gods, we must first explore their origins. From chaos emerged the cosmos, a concept that resonates with modern scientific theories of universal beginnings. Chaos, a primordial void, birthed Gaia, Tartarus, and Eros, the Earth, Underworld, and Love, respectively. These primal forces set the stage for the Titans, led by Cronus, establishing the first divine dynasty. Fearing a prophecy of his downfall, Cronus devoured his children, but Zeus escaped through his mother's cunning. The Titanomachy, a decade-long war of cosmic proportions, saw the Olympians triumph, banishing the Titans to the depths of Tartarus. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades then divided the realms, establishing a new divine order that would shape the mythology for generations to come. This tumultuous beginning sets the tone for the complex relationships among the gods, particularly evident in the central figures of Zeus and Hera. Zeus and Hera, the king and queen of Olympus, embody divine complexity and the intricacies of power dynamics. Their relationship mirrors ancient Greek society, with Zeus's thunder-wielding authority reflecting both natural forces personified and the patriarchal structure of the time. Hera, protector of marriage and childbirth, paradoxically unleashes vengeance on Zeus's numerous infidelities, highlighting the contradictions within divine nature. Their conflicts ripple through Olympus and mortal realms, as vividly seen in the tale of Heracles. Born of Zeus's affair with a mortal woman, Heracles faced Hera's relentless wrath throughout his life, shaping one of mythology's most enduring stories. This saga demonstrates how divine dramas profoundly influenced mortal lives, blurring the lines between heavenly disputes and earthly consequences. The complex interactions between gods extend beyond Zeus and Hera, as seen in the contrasting figures of Athena and Ares. Athena and Ares, both children of Zeus, embody contrasting approaches to conflict and wisdom. Athena, goddess of wisdom, strategic warfare and crafts, guided heroes like Odysseus with strategic counsel during the Trojan War, exemplifying Greek reverence for intellect in warfare and governance. Ares, representing the chaos and brutality of battle, stood in stark opposition to Athena's calculated approach. This duality reflected Greek society's complex view of conflict, favoring reasoned strategies over raw aggression in both war and peace. Athena's prominence, especially in her namesake city of Athens, underscored her cultural significance beyond warfare, symbolizing civilization, justice, and the arts. The contrast between these siblings highlights the multifaceted nature of Greek deities, a theme further explored in the roles of Aphrodite and Hades. Aphrodite and Hades embody life's fundamental dualities, love and death, beauty and the unseen. Aphrodite's influence extends far beyond romance, swaying gods and mortals alike with her power over desire and passion. Her promise to Paris, offering him the most beautiful woman in the world, sparked the Trojan War, showcasing her far-reaching impact on both divine and mortal realms. Hades, as ruler of the underworld, maintains cosmic balance by overseeing the afterlife. He judges souls fairly, overseeing realms like Elysium for the virtuous and Tartarus for the wicked. This complex view of love and death reflects deep Greek philosophical concepts, profoundly influencing their art, literature, and daily life. The interplay between these forces of creation and ending is further complemented by Dionysus, who bridges the gap between ecstasy and ruin. 
Dionysus, god of wine, fertility, and religious ecstasy, embodied the complexities of human revelry and spiritual transformation. As the overseer of festivities and theater, he represented both ecstatic joy and potentially destructive madness. This duality mirrors the ancient Greek understanding of controlled chaos in society, necessary for both cultural expression and spiritual release. The tale of King Pentheus in Euripides' The Bacchae serves as a stark warning against resisting Dionysian influence, illustrating the delicate balance between celebration and self-destruction that was central to Greek cultural and religious thought. Dionysus' ability to blur the lines between mortal and divine experiences paved the way for heroes and demigods who physically embodied this intersection. Heroes and demigods serve as crucial bridges between the divine and mortal realms, embodying both human struggles and godly powers. Born of divine parentage, these exceptional beings like Heracles, Perseus, and Theseus exemplify Greek heroism in its most potent form. Heracles, son of Zeus, particularly stands out with his twelve labors, which transformed mortal challenges into legendary feats, showcasing strength, courage, and perseverance against impossible odds. These tales resonated deeply with ancient Greeks, reflecting their cultural values and providing a tangible framework for understanding the complex relationship between gods and mortals. The veneration of these heroes often blurred the lines between myth and religion, influencing Greek religious practices and rituals. Greek religious practices embodied mythology in tangible forms, bringing divine narratives into everyday life. Temples, masterfully crafted in Doric, Ionic, or Corinthian styles, stood as monumental tributes to the gods, their architecture reflecting divine attributes and serving as focal points for worship and community gatherings. The Panathenaic Festival, Athens' grand celebration of Athena, wove myth into civic life through elaborate processions, athletic contests, and sacrificial rituals. At Delphi, Apollo's oracle offered cryptic prophecies that guided pivotal decisions in both personal and state affairs, exemplifying the perceived constant presence of divine influence in Greek society. These practices not only reinforced mythological narratives, but also provided a stage for divine intervention in mortal affairs, as dramatically illustrated in the epic tale of the Trojan War. The Trojan War epitomizes the complex interplay of divine meddling in mortal affairs, serving as a microcosm of Greek mythological themes. Sparked by the judgment of Paris, where Aphrodite's promise of Helen to the Trojan prince ignited a decade-long conflict, it showcases the gods' far-reaching influence on human destiny. Throughout the war, deities actively shaped battles, favoring heroes like Achilles and Hector, and intervening directly in combat. The fall of Troy culminated this divine feud, reflecting the intricate balance between fate, free will, and godly intervention in Greek mythology. This epic tale where human struggles mirrored celestial conflicts has continued to captivate audiences for millennia, demonstrating the enduring legacy of Greek mythology. Greek mythology's legacy endures vibrantly in modern culture, continually reinventing itself to address contemporary issues and sensibilities. Ancient gods and their stories continue to mirror human nature, reflecting timeless themes like love, ambition, and hubris that resonate across generations. These narratives adapt fluidly to contemporary issues, as seen in popular reinterpretations like Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series, which introduces Greek myths to new generations through a modern lens. The gods' complex relationships and interactions with mortals continue to offer profound insights into the human condition, demonstrating the universal appeal and relevance of these ancient tales across time and cultures. From literature and art to psychology and philosophy, the influence of Greek mythology permeates various aspects of our society, proving that these timeless stories continue to shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us.